everybody, this is Obstuni, and welcome back to the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Open Beta. And I decided that I would go ahead and actually cover the little bit of story stuff that is in this, so that whenever the game comes out, I can play around with the beginning of it a little bit with my own custom character, so I'll have some free time on my hands, yay! And I wanted to show you guys a human's transformation and set the record straight on certain transformation and some certain subtext that goes with it. So here we go. So our human is Awesome Man and he has voice number 15 in case you guys are wondering and I figured this out. Voice 15 is actually Lanny Pator from Dragon Ball um, Abridged and Team 4 Star. So I'm pretty excited to see if he throws out some random funny lines in this. You son. And bang. Dead. Piccolo. And here I come to save the day. It's awesome, man. Shit. Fuck. Okay, let's make a deal, everybody. Nobody saw that. Alright. Serious mode. Here we go. Awesome man's gonna beat that ass. <laughs> All right, and make way. Rookie time patroller is here. No matter how much trash there is, it's still trash. Hey, can I get your help? Oh God. Hold on, guys. That is... Oh, that is not good. Oh, hold on. I need to check on something. This needs to go... all the way down. Because that was aggravating. Oh, let me get the three bars and I'll show you guys. Power Pole Pro. Flying Nimbus, hell yeah! Now, a common misconception about this transformation is that if you get hit once, you will automatically leave it, and that's not the case. It takes a couple of hits for you to actually leave the transformation, but it doesn't require an energy threshold either to actually do the transformation, so that's pretty good. Oh, but apparently you do not have any supers or ultimates, so that's a catch. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, whoa. That was, that was pretty fucking amazing. I like that transformation. What? What are you doing? Now, Piccolo! Do it! All that so hair clipping. Blam! Damn it! Yeah. Serves you right. What was that? Where did it was? It was also man, and he's standing right behind you. All right. Five jobs done. Time to get the hell out of here. And there they are. 
two villains that will get to fight <laughs> in this beta just to clarify that was some handy work those moves weren't half bad that's right, that's why they call me awesome, man, because all my moves are awesome. Except for your entrance. Well, nobody saw that. Goku and Piccolo would surely have been defeated if you hadn't stepped in and saved them. Hell yeah! Your job is helping to correct any inconsistencies like this that crop up in the timeline. All right. This time went smoothly. But battles later on in history get intense. Just like my fucking mohawk. So continue with your training, because only the strong can correct history. Have you seen my muscles? But since you're training under the greatest Kai in the universe, there shouldn't be much to worry about. <laughs> That's right, Elder Kai. You're my sensei. As long as you listen to my advice, you'll come into your own eventually. And what was that? Yeah, we get it. I wasn't it. listening. You really do ramble, old man. Listen here, Supreme Kai of Time. I'm only about a millennium older than you. J that just a millennium. Only a millennium, though, guys. What are you saying? Anyone who laid eyes on you would easily call you an old man. Don't even try to compare yourself to an adorable girl like me. Yeah. Kind of weird that you're, like, frickin', like, child size. You call yourself adorable? How do you find a hat with a head that big? Ooh, bitch. Mm. Ah, that's all from us for the moment. We'll tell you more about the world later on. Okay. Okay, then. You've got to be bored half to death after listening to his speeches. Am I right? Well, I'm bored to death because I've heard this shit three times now. Because I've started this three times. Allow me to walk you out. This way, please. All right. Okay. Hey, wait! You can't just jump ahead like that. They just walked ahead, though. Like, they didn't jump. They didn't fly. They didn't... Just... I'm just walking. Fucking whatever. <clears throat> Alright, we're loading. Hopefully this isn't a deal whenever um, this comes out on the PC. Which is what I'll be playing on, guys. Not dealing with fucking PS4 bullshit, even if I'm even if I have a copy of it pre-ordered. I'm just not dealing with all the recording bullshit of console. Which I will later. I'll have to later. But if I have a choice, I will go with PC. Now, here is another thing that I know a lot of people were actually very curious about. Yes. The history you mentioned was once saved by this cranberry. <laughs> it was a superb cranberry. Take a good look, this is a favorite hero. I started those voices a little late. But basically, how this works, and I do not have the ability to show you this, so you can take it for whatever you want. Whenever you import your Xenoverse 1 save into Xenoverse 2, um, instead of what happens now, you will be able to choose not only from your first slot um, hero, you'll be able to choose any hero from Xenoverse that you have, as well as some preset ones. Let's see, for example, I chose the Majin Hero preset, and that may or may not be a hint to the famous hero that I'm going to import. Let's see. Keep out the Academy as well as other parallel quests. 
taking on parallel quests is the basic duty of a time patroller. Speak to the robot at the reception desk for more details. Uh, it will give you all kinds of good advice. At least I hope. Well, that's confidence. The reception area is underneath a large roofed entrance to the Nest of Time. Go take a look for yourself. There's also the Time Patroller Academy. It's a school to develop young time patrollers. The old man is on his way there too. There's a lot you can learn from him. The academy is just over that way, just down the other side of the town. It's the big building, so you can't miss it. Got all that? I guess. I know it's a lot to remember, but I have faith in you. Good luck. Oh, that's right, you're not ready for flights, so you can take this instead. See you later. And what this is, is a little hoverboard kind of vehicle. And you press square to summon that, and you can hold down L2 to go fast! Get it. All right, but here is something that you guys can do, is I have pretty much confirmed this. If you battle this chick after that quest, the reward is a Dragon Ball. Now, I'm not sure if the Dragon Balls are necessarily available to be used in the beta, but maybe whenever you transfer um, your beta character into Xenoverse 2, which I believe that you're going to be able to do that, you will be able to transfer the Dragon Balls, possibly? Get him! Alright. Yeah! Cool move. And Powerball Pro. Finally, Mateo, yeah! Fuck shit up. Yeah. Like I said, I kind of enjoyed the transformation, but I think I would have to learn the combos a bit more in order to use it properly. But, as I said, it takes more than one goddamn hit to actually take you off of it, like some people would lead you to believe, or the text of the ability would lead you to believe. Which, that may be something that people in the development of this game may want to correct. Hashtag fix the flying Nimbus description? Or the PowerPole Pro description. But yeah. Let's see, let's get a little bit more done and then I'll. Then we'll uh, be done with this episode. If this game will load. As tough as anybody says, that was a great battle. There are many time patrollers in Canton City. If you just talk to them, they may challenge you to a fight, just like this. Battles help you, um, battle, battles help give you needed experience. You might not even, um, you might even get something special if you win. Try talking to as many as you can. Combine that with your training and keep working hard. Got the five-star Dragon Ball. And this, and as of right now, because of the playthroughs that I've done... I have three Dragon Balls, so that's a quick way that you can get all seven Dragon Balls. Just keep on restarting and keep on doing that battle, because even if you delete um, your character, you still keep the same inventory, you still keep the same skill list, all that fun stuff. So let's see what Elder Kai has to say about this feature that we can't use yet. Let's see, the Patrol Academy, you can learn the basics of battle theory through the Elder Kai Challenge Quest. You can also take advancement tests in your to raise your class. Furthermore, fighters will act as your teachers, instructing you in various techniques. There are other teachers in Canton City as well, so be sure to seek them out and benefit from their instructions. You can increase your training level by clearing quests and undergoing training. Once you have progressed far enough, advancement test quests will become available. 
Clearing these tests will change your class, giving you access to new skills through teachers. You can access this in the full retail version. Yay! But that's going to be it for right now, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to know when the next video is coming out. And I still got a f couple of more videos that I can get out of this beta that are actual story footage. And I will... Actually, you know what? I think in the next video, I will use a Frieza Klansman as, um, as my character so you guys can see the turn golden ability. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Ostuni, signing off. Grrrr.